Thank you very much, Doug, and thank you to our panelists for a, a wonderful discussion. Uh, again, today's panel presentations are going to be available for reviewing uh, starting tonight on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and search on NASA television, you'll be able to rewatch our panels. Uh, with that, I'd like to once again turn it over to Joe Parrish, NASA's Deputy Chief Technologist, for some closing thoughts. Joe? Thank you, David. Um, today, was a, today was a great day. Uh, it's funny, when um, I first heard of the Office of the Chief Technologist at NASA, I had this vision of a bunch of uh, smart people sitting around in a conference room and technologies kind of coming through the room and for them to look at and ponder and go, thumbs up, thumbs down, we'll, we'll take that, we'll pursue that. Um, or people sitting around and thinking about really big ideas. And, and, um, and it turns out in reality, um, not every day is like that. A lot of days at, at NASA headquarters are, are spent making policy de level decisions, developing solicitations, et cetera. And they're not always the, uh, the, the dream days that, that I had envisioned. However, today is, is one of those dream days to, to have the kind of discussion that we've seen in these panels and to have the opportunity to interact with you who are so enthusiastic and they help to recharge our, our batteries and pursue the, the, the vision for human exploration uh, of space, uh, the delivery of crew and cargo to low Earth orbit by this nascent industry that's coming out, and a whole variety of players in the technology realm. So thanks for making this a terrific day. Um, this is actually the, our, our second future forum of 2011. Uh, this will be the last, last one of 2011, and we're already looking into 2012, and I'll talk about that in, in just a moment. Um, many people make an event like this one possible, and I, and I really wanted to thank those people. It's not an easy task to do something like we've done today, having it uh, simul simultaneous video telecast of what we're doing, all the things going on in the Twitterverse, and, and you all uh, helping to participate. I'd like to thank Doug King and uh, all of the fine people here at the Museum of Flight for being our wonderful host today. You've made this so easy for us and so wonderful, and uh, we, we're really grateful for that. Um, I'd like to thank also uh, our Deputy Administrator at NASA, Lori Garver, for flying out here and giving the, the opening keynote remarks. I know she was thrilled to be able to make the announcement regarding the, uh, the launch date for the SpaceX visit to the International Space Station. Um, unfortunately, her, her flight left <laughs> and uh, she wasn't able to be here, but she sends her, her best regards and was similarly thrilled to, to be able to talk with you. Um, thanks to the panelists for taking time out of their busy schedules to come and share their, their views with the rest of us. Um, it's, it's remarkable that all of us share a love for, for exploration uh, and, and space flight and aerial flight, um, but we come at it from a variety of perspectives, and it was wonderful to, to hear so many perspectives, all of which are uh, constructive and, and positive and, and forward-looking and envisioning a future that we don't yet have, but we will one, one day, hopefully soon. Um, I'd like to thank uh, folks who assisted us with, with the event, the, uh, the National Institute for Aerospace, the Washington Technology Industry Association, and, and the Boeing Company for helping to sponsor and staff our, our activity. And we'd like to ask that after we conclude here that um, everyone walk over to the Charles Simone Space Gallery for a poster session that's going to be put on by students that are participating in, in the uh, Space Grant, Washington NASA Space Grant Consortium. And they're, they're also fascinated in, in the, the area of space flight. And they've got some really interesting, important research that they would like to, to share with you. So please do walk over to the gallery and view these poster sessions. Um, and finally, I'd like to thank the, the NASA team um, who have been working for weeks on end to make this possible. Mike Green, Derek Wang, um, David Steeds from our Office of Communications, the photographers and the, and the video folks who, who helped to make this possible. One of the things that we are most self-critical of at NASA is our ability to get the word out to the public about what value we actually offer to them. And the work that these people do help us to get that word out, and they are fantastic at what they do, and we're grateful for, for their efforts. And thanks also to, to you for attending today and having the enthusiasm that you have for space. And please take your enthusiasm and, and spread it around. I, I bet it's contagious. 
and please please take it and uh, and help to spread it all over all over the planet. Um, our next future forum will be on February 21st in, in 2012 at the Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Um, we'll be posting information on our website. That's www.nasa.gov slash OCT. That's Office of the Chief Technologist, OCT. Um, we hope to see everybody there. Thank you once again for your attendance, and let me turn it back over to David Steets. Thank you, Joe.